Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. Today I'm going to show you how to analyze your Likert scale or semantic differential scale using t-test. So I have in this species file where I have like uh, four or five uh, scales that need to be investigated in terms of the difference between gender, male and female. So I'm going to use here a t-test but I have to check uh, the exceptions. So for the gender is categorical variable as you can see. Uh, it consists of two groups, uh, one female, two male, and then for the scales here, uh, I have calculated the mean score of the whole scale. So if you want to uh, see how that, that has been done, just uh, check uh, the description box below uh, on how to uh, compute the mean score of Likert scales or semantic differential scales. So once I compute the mean, uh, the mean scores, I'm going to check the assumptions of uh, the distribution of the data so i'm going to go to analyze descriptive statistics and then explore so i want to check the assumptions of all the scales that i want to investigate so i have intrinsic motivation extrinsic motivation test anxiety attitude self-confidence self-efficacy and then motivation scale in general so we have one two three four five six seven so seven scales that should be investigated in terms of in terms of normality at once so i'm going to move them here and go to uh, plots and then uh, take histogram and take normality plots with tests and click continue and then okay and i'm going to wait for uh, the result to be displayed all right so here is the results uh, then i'm going to check the kolmogorov Simirnov test and uh, the shapiro well test especially shapiro well test if it is less than 0 0.05 this means that uh, we reject the null hypothesis state that so the data here is not normally distributed indeed because uh, uh, the, the seek value is less than 0 0.05 all right so uh, this means that we are not going to use the parametric independent sample status we are going to use the uh, man with new test so let's go back to uh, the spaces file and then go to analyze and we are going to go to non-parametric tests and go to independent samples all right so i'm going to again move all the scales in the test fields like this by selecting them and dragging and dropping them or click on this arrow and uh, moving the uh, the other variable gen uh, gender to the groups variable and then for the settings I can keep uh, keep it automatically so that the species can choose what kind of test so it's, it's going to choose men with new test to sample so anyway so let's uh, run the analysis and wait for the input or the output so here is the output for the non-parametric uh, test so we have the scales null hypothesis and the independent samples man with new test and you have the seek value and the decision so i'm using spc uh, version 26 so it gives us even the, the decision so here retain the null hypothesis for all of them except for uh, the distribution of self-confidence scale is the same across categories of gender so it mean it, this means that uh, males and females show different self-confidence when it comes to language learning so there is a statistically significant difference so we are going to see uh, in, turn, in favor of home this uh, difference is done so i'm going to check the mean for uh, for that so i'm going to go directly to uh, self-confidence uh, by scrolling down so this self-confidence scale so these tables so we have we are going to look for the mean score to see which group has higher mean as you can see a uh, sig value is less than 0 0.05 uh, so as you can see in this uh, figure so the mean rank for uh, a female is uh, uh, 62 whereas for male is 48 so this difference is in favor of female female students tend to have more self-confidence than uh, male students so we can uh, interpret the results as such and if you have any questions or you need uh, assistance or anything with your data kindly contact me and see you in another uh, tutorial